Okay guys, I'm going to take things a little bit further and go over the basics of Packscape and um, I'll discuss a little bit about what a mod actually is. Uh, so click on the link in that game optimization thread. Um, it will take you to a page uh, where you can download Packscape. This is a PK3 program. This will allow you to actually view what is inside of the PK3 files and that are in your game folder. So just download this and save this somewhere on your computer. If you don't want it on your desktop for a long time, then I'd suggest putting it in a miscellaneous folder. Once you move this program, it's hard to um, the PK3 files sometimes will not open. It needs to be in the location you first installed it. So once you have that program, just like with Notepad, you're going to right click on a PK3 file and tell it to open with Packscape. If it doesn't show up here, browse to wherever you installed it and make sure this is selected. Always use the selected program to open this kind of file. That way all you have to do is double click on the PK3 and it will open. Now a mod basically is something that overwrites a file that previously has loaded in the original pack files. When you installed your game these five pack files came with the game and those are all the stock files. A mod simply uses the same directory, same file names, and everything and it is overwritten. It overwrites the files that previously load because um, it, it has Z's in front of it and that way this file will load last and it will overwrite something that previously has loaded. So you'll see in here I have some mods here. Most of these are skins. Um, one that I'd like to start with here is the DDA Ape Compass. This is a mod that I made for our clan. Um, this just simply changes the compass back to look like that and I I changed it from well you all know what a uh, stock compass looks like but it's found here in your pack one in your main compass back so this is a stock texture and this is the texture that I wanted to replace that so when you look at um, my screen you'll see this ape as the background of the compass and it's that simple all you do is you have to set up the mod so that the directory is the exact same textures HUD compass back and it's the exact same file and it just loads it last so that it overwrites the existing file that had previously loaded and so that that's how you see the ape instead of the stock compass